Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for mid-July. Uh, this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This is going to be a little bit different this time. This is going to be you and the other person. Could go. You could have this side or this side. You choose. All right. We're just going to see what comes up. When I'm concentrating, I tend to think that this is your side. I don't know why. That's just the way it goes. Anyhow, but you choose. Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-July. Them and the other person. What do we got going on? What's coming up for Libra? Ooh, we have an ending here. We do have an ending. A completion. Over here, we got somebody who's seizing a new opportunity. So right here, we have somebody that is experiencing a completion, an ending. This person is taking a new opportunity. They're taking it. Letting, letting the regrets go. They've accepted a new opportunity. Here we have somebody who is totally mentally ex exhausted. Very, very much so. Isolated. There could be some health issues. Definitely. Very frustrated. And I think this frustration comes from not changing their ways, okay? Because swords are thoughts, you know, holding on to the same old things, hanging on to the same old ideas has caused defeat. So we got somebody over here that has been defeated by their own thoughts, their own ideas, their own ways. Because that is what thought that is what swords are. Thoughts and ideas. Refusing to think differently, refusing to do things differently has caused illness. Stress. Over here. There's no chance. This person has seized a new opportunity. They are no longer emotionally invested. And they are probably um, holding their own. There's, there's no chance of reconciliation. They may not be in a state of forgiveness. They probably... Um, You know, they're trying to be practical. Whoever this person is, this person is trying to be practical. They're trying to be remain stable. They're not engaged at all. They're emotionally dis disengaged with this person over here. And I think that, that they're emotionally disengaged because this person refuses to change anything. Um, yep, still moping, still crying over a loss, crying over that spilled milk. So we got somebody here that is refusing to see a new perspective when if they could just realize <clears throat> that there's a better opportunity, there's an opportunity for love. But we got somebody here that is still focusing on a loss when they should be looking at it as a blessing, but they just won't. Reluctant. This is reluctant. Reluctant to stop. You know, we got somebody here that is, is dealing with a person that probably is playing with somebody else, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. You could be dealing with somebody who, you know, is a competitor. They have other, they have other people in their life. This person is refusing to accept. They're refusing to let go and holding on to a partnership that really causes them a lot of tension, causes them a lot of strife, has caused them a lot of suffering. 
you know, and they're still holding on to it, still focused on it. Holding on to a dead end. We got somebody that is holding on to a dead end and it is getting old. It is. We do have a dead end here. And there's grieving and there's sadness. You should be feeling relief from this ending, this completion. You should look at this as, you know, a time of growth, a time to go in a new direction. Because there's an opportunity for happiness This to if you would look in a different direction. But if you keep focusing on the loss, focusing on you know, this game or whatever it is, then, you know, you're going to continue to go downhill. So, yeah, we got somebody here that it needs to open up, needs to let go of this dead-end partnership that has caused them so much tension, but there's so much reluctance to let go. It's like this person is hoping this person is going to come back, but I don't think this person is coming back. There's no chance. I think this person is stable. I think this person is secure. I think this person has shut down their feelings and they have seized a new opportunity. Um, and this person is not going to change their mind. This person has is, is trying to prove a point. This person has let go of the past. This, there's no reconciliation here as far as this person is concerned. This person... Um, <laughs> This person is hurt as well. This person is hurt and this person is trying to prove a point. This person is in a state of confusion. This person um, is probably not even, I don't think this person is even considering. They're not even considering it. I think this person, the only th this person is, is wanting to heal their heart. And the best way for them to heal it is to withdraw, not communicate, uh, go within, you know, to just. Work on themselves. I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to. Look at a new direction completely. trapped going my own way we we got somebody here that has been feeling like they have been imprisoned they felt like they were in prison they felt like they were they were tied down but i feel like now they have found their strength to go their own way and withdraw from a situation They've withdrawn from this person who refuses to see the light. Oh, this person over here is in complete denial. Just put it that way. This person has decided to let go of regrets. Right here, this Four of Cups. And focus on a new opportunity. They've. It feels like they've been... They feel... This person feels like they have been stuck long enough. They've been trapped long enough. They've been in suspension long enough. This person has made a decision to shut down their feelings and their emotions and go their own way. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to bring abundance into my life. I'm very self-sufficient. I'm good. I don't need to do this. Like I said earlier, with this instability, that's what I saw. We have somebody here that has decided to work on themselves, work on their own stability, and like there's no chance there's no chance of going back. There's not. Um, this person just wants to enjoy life now. I just want to enjoy my life. I don't want to be trapped here. I don't want to be stuck here anymore. This is the end of stagnation. This person is, has decided to look forward now and step out of this you know, their comfort zone, step out of their own prison. You know, this person is not engaged anymore. Knight of Cups reverse, exactly. They're not, I'm not, look, I don't want it. I don't want a relationship. I don't, I, I don't even want this at all. 
This is not love. This is not what I want. There's no growth here. There's no love here. So we got somebody here that has shut down their 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 love. It's I'm serious. Then the King of Cups reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed, the Judgment reversed, the Nine of Pentacles. No. Right now, I'm focusing on my money. I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on my growth. I'm focusing on everything but a relationship. So we have somebody over here that has completely shut down their emotions, their feelings. And I think they did that because whoever that they were, you know, dealing with was emotionally unavailable to them. This person, you know, was refusing to see any other point of view whatsoever. Seriously. You know, this, this, this was a false foundation. It wasn't built strong. It wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. And I feel like this person is, it's almost like a disaster waiting to happen. It's like they could blow up at any time. It's like this person can blow up at any time. And this person is like, hell no. I'm not going to deal with a person that, that holds in their, their thoughts and their feelings until they blow, you know? So I feel like, yeah, this is very impulsive energy. We have somebody over here that probably blows their top, top very, very, very easily and may not want to be held accountable for their actions, may not treat people fairly, may not act with integrity, doesn't tell the truth. So this person ha has decided to completely withdraw, you know, because this person over here doesn't seem to want to change anything, you know. And now this person has been defeated by their lack of ability to see things from a new perspective, their lack of ability to... You know, not want to compete. This person is a competitor, always wanting to compete. Seriously. It's not about the competition. It's about working together. So this person over here... Is not making a practical decision. They're making a decision based on... Well, impulsiveness, uh, lust, uh, pa passion. And they're not making one. They're not making a wise decision. Somebody is not being true to themselves. They aren't. They aren't being true to themselves. It's like they're in complete denial, seriously. Thinking that they got to take, take action constantly. It's a... Con constant competition <clears throat> it is got to act all the time all the time all the time this person is constantly you know this person it's like this person can't leave well enough alone and it causes a lot of conflict it causes upheaval it causes destruction so i feel like we 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 have a a, a destructive person over here and I don't know if this side is your side or this side is your side could be either one who is it's like they're self-destructing as well okay we got it's like this person is self-destructing because they won't honor their own truth and maybe it's because of the competition maybe it's because they have to prove themselves this person's like I don't and that could be the case because this is over here. This person's like, you've got to prove yourself. You go ahead and prove yourself. I'm getting it. I'm not engaged. I don't care. I don't care. This person's not going to compete anymore. There's no love here. It's like, no, I'm not competing with you. You want to compete? You could, you're going to be competing with somebody else. So this person is not. This person has totally withdrawn. Um... This is unfair treatment right here. This person 
doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Probably treats people unfairly. And it looks to me like somebody has headed out. Somebody has headed out and now they're grieving. Now they're sad because somebody has left. Because this person, you know, refuses to change their thoughts. Refuses to change their ways. And now that now it's over. Somebody has left. This person has now went over here. This person has left and they're not engaged. They're probably, you know, opening up. With the, Where was that? Oh, that was over there. This part, four of, four of cups. I'm looking forward now. They're ready to seize a new opportunity. I'm going to look someplace else. But right now, I'm going to work on myself before I do. Because we got somebody here that is working on themselves. Um, somebody is learning a karmic lesson. This is reversed and this is reversed. But this person has not learned it yet. Because holding on to a dead end. That's holding on to a dead end. And this one is too. Holding on to a dead end, a dead end partnership, isn't going to get you anywhere. You have to accept. You have to release. This is release. And you need to, you need to take action to go in a different direction. Holding on to a false sense of security isn't, you can't. It's not going to do anything for you. It's not. Be prepared for some sort of realignment. Okay? If it hasn't happened already, this is a universe card. This is a universe card. The universe has been trying to realign somebody's path and somebody has been fighting it. Therefore, we got a karmic lesson of, you know... There's suffering here because somebody is fighting the universe. Anyway, that's what I got. I feel like, you know, be prepared. Be prepared for a realignment. And it may, it may hurt. I'm just going to be honest with you with that five of, five of cups. It may hurt. It may make you feel uncomfortable. But this needed to happen or it needs to happen. So that you can get what you deserve. This person over here is focusing on themselves. And because they are, somebody is slowly heading in their direction. Because they know their value, they know their worth, somebody is going to come in. But I think there's a delay. I do think there's a delay. I don't think it's nothing. There's no rushing here. There's no rushing. Um, that's what I got. Good luck.